Disclaimer right here, if you follow all the steps the creator of this mod has laid out in the readme to a T, like I will show you how to do, everything should work just fine. However, the installation of this firmware hack can possibly void your warranty and even brick your camera should something unexpected happen during the installation process. So if you want to proceed, you have to do so on your own risk. There's two parts to this process. Part number one, the video you're watching right now, makes sure you're running the right firmware for the mod, which is 1.12. If you know that that's the firmware you're running already, you can skip this video and proceed right to part number two, which I've linked in the top right hand corner. If you don't know how to look up your current firmware, just keep watching. So let's check the firmware you're currently running. To do this, enter the main menu by hitting the menu button once, click left once, come all the way down to the fourth main menu, click right once, Click up twice to reach device information. If next to body firmware it states 01.11, you need to upgrade to 01.12 as a firmware because the mod requires us to do that. If it already states 01.12, you're good to go, you can skip the next section of this video and jump right to the following one, which is this one and is linked in the top right hand corner. But now let's install the firmware. I'm gonna show you how to do it on a Windows PC first and after that we'll check out how to do it on a Mac. The software you will need is called iLauncher iLink. So the first step is to connect your camera to your computer. In this case via a micro USB to USB A data cable. The micro USB end plugs into the camera and the USB A end plugs into the USB port of your choice. As soon as you do, a window will pop up on your screen. Right here under connected devices it will say CD drive iLauncher. Click that one. And since we're on a PC, the iLinker executable is the file we need. Double click it. Do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Since we know it's from Samsung, it's fine. Samsung iLauncher, not detected. Do you want to install iLauncher on the PC? Yes. Of course, read and agree to the license agreement. Click next. Agree once more. Choose your destination folder and click install. The installation is complete. To run Samsung iLauncher, click finish. Now this is the standard user interface of the software and right here we can see the little notification that says software update available. This pop-up window has already detected our camera and the lens we're using as well as current and update version of the body firmware and the lens firmware. So the lens is up to date but the body is currently at 01.11 and can be updated to 01.12. So to update for the latest version, please press next. Read all of this. Press next again. Also, definitely make sure you have a fully charged battery inside the camera because you definitely do not want the update process to abort while it's in progress. Downloading the latest firmware has been finished, so we can click close. Exit the iLauncher application and let's turn our attention back to the camera. First things first, disconnect your camera from your computer. Turn it off. If necessary, exchange the battery for a fully charged one. and then turn it back on. Once again, dive into the main menu, click left once, come all the way down to the fourth main menu, right once, up twice, device information. And now you can select software update, do so. Then select body firmware. Update body firmware 1.11 to 1.12, click update. Now just let the camera do its thing and always follow the on-screen instructions. And once you see this screen, the update process is finished, so you can click OK. If you had customized your camera from within the menu prior to the firmware update, you will have to do this again, including probably the language. To check that everything went the way it should, come to device information again and make sure that next to body firmware now it reads 01. Point 12. So now we've updated the firmware on a PC, now let's do it on a Mac. Now the setup on a Mac basically follows the same steps. Step number one, connect your camera to your Mac via a micro USB to USB A cable. The micro USB end plugs into your camera, the USB A end plugs into the USB port of your choice. Once that is done, you will see the iLauncher icon appear on your desktop, double click it, enter the Mac folder, double click iLinker. It's not installed yet. Do you want to install it? Yes, please. It'll download the DMG file and open it. 
Double click the eye launcher setup, click continue, and then follow the on screen instructions. This is the user interface of the iLauncher software, again with a little notification that says software update available. The pop up has again already detected that we're using an NX500 with a 1650 kit lens. The lens firmware is up to date, the current body firmware is 01.11 and can be updated to 01.12. To do that, click next. Again, make sure you're using a fully charged battery inside your camera. Upgrade. The Samsung iLauncher software will now download the latest firmware, which is exactly the one we need, the 01.12. It will store all the necessary files on the internal memory of the camera, so the actual installation of the firmware upgrade is done from within the camera menu. Close and exit the iLauncher application and now let's turn our attention back to the camera. Start by disconnecting the camera from your Mac. Turn it off. If need be, switch to a fully charged battery and then turn it back on. Dive into the menu, come to the device information, select software update, Select Body Firmware, Update Body Firmware, click Update, and then just follow the on-screen instructions. And once this screen appears, it's done, so you can click OK. Should you have customized your camera from within the menu prior to the update, you're going to have to do this again, including the language. To make sure everything worked the way it should, come to device information again, check the body firmware and make sure it says 01.12. So now that the firmware is updated successfully, let's get into installing the actual mod. Once more, the video of the actual mod installation is linked in the top right corner and right here. <laughs> 